Hello friends, how are you all? Welcome to Buell's Kitchen. I hope everybody is keeping well. Um, today's recipe is going to be Donne Biryani. It's Mysore style Donne Biryani and it's going to be very very nice and yummy. And I'm going to make it with chicken. Here I have washed some chicken here. I've taken some fresh chicken. I washed it and I cleaned it ready. So we're going to start putting some marination in this. So we're going to put some turmeric powder. Just put a teaspoon of turmeric powder. I'll just show you what to do. Now friends, the first thing is the turmeric powder. Just add one teaspoon of turmeric powder. It's for the marination. I'll just show you the chicken. Kashmiri red chilli, but you can use whichever is your favorite. I'm using about two teaspoons of uh, Kashmiri red chilli powder. Here I have some garam masala, which I have made it at home. It smells gorgeous. I'm just going to add about um, half a teaspoon, just for the taste. Next, I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to use about two teaspoon of salt here. And later on we can add in the rice as well so now the next thing what we need is the curd here I have taken a curd here so we'll just take a tablespoon of curd I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of curd here that will help uh, to tenderize the chicken so that's it so now we're gonna marinate that and we're going to keep this aside so just give it a good mix like this and uh, keep it aside and you can add a little bit of ginger garlic paste as well so i'm going to add about one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste that will give a nice taste to the chicken so use about one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste for the marination it'll be nice so i'm going to take off the spoon and uh, yeah, you can give it a mix in the spoon itself. Just make sure that all the chicken is well coated with this marination. And that's it. That's it. The first thing you must do. Ah. We'll keep this aside and we're going to prepare the onion and the tomatoes and some coriander and mint. i show you friends. Now friends, I have taken some uh, jeera kasala rice. This is about uh, 5 glasses. So I've just washed it and I kept it ready. And my chicken is uh, marinating here. And here is the secret ingredient. This is the special for Mysore uh, uh, Donne Biryani. This is nothing but um, green chilies and some coriander and mint. One handful of coriander and one handful of mint and 6 to 7 green chilies. So I'm going to make it as a paste and I'm going to keep it ready. And here what I have did is onions. I've chopped about 5 medium sized onions. So I'm just going to take um, half of the onion just to fry it with little onion, little oil and use some uh, spices. Just the cinnamon stick and cardamom and some cloves and some star anise and some uh, sai jeera and some fennel seeds so just fry it with little oil and grind it and keep it as a paste so that will give a thickness to this um, biryani so and you need some ginger garlic paste and the last thing what you need is some uh, curd curd i have ready i've kept it ready there and this is the tomatoes tomatoes normally they don't put it but i'm just gonna use a little bit of tomatoes here and some lime so these are the things you needed come on let's make it now friends, the first thing what we need to do is the green paste. So there it is, the first green paste is ready now. I'm just going to keep it aside. Next thing what we're going to do now is um, just heat the pan. I'm going to put a little bit of oil. I'm just using some sunflower oil here. You can use uh, whichever oil is your favorite. Just a little bit of oil. Just three tablespoons of oil. Next, what we're going to do now is here we're going to use the garam masala. So I 
going to use about 3 to 4 cinnamon sticks and some uh, elachi. And we're going to put some cloves as well. That will give nice flavor for this biryani. And some black pepper, a tablespoon of black pepper. And some fennel seeds. Some cumin seeds. So this is the one I was telling. This is the shy jeera. You can get it in any of the Asian shop. It will give nice flavors for this uh, biryani. So just add about one teaspoon. And now we can start adding your onion. I used about three handful of uh, onions. I'm just going to fry this and uh, let it cool and then we'll grind it and we'll taste it. We'll make it a paste and we'll add this as well. So it will give nice flavor for this biryani. So we'll use the same jar uh, which we have grinded the cream paste. We'll just keep it ready. I'll just fry this and I'll show you friends. Now friends, the onion is being fried now, as you can see. We're just going to keep this uh, cool for 10 minutes and we're going to grind it as a paste and we're going to add it in the biryani. Now friends, we'll start making the biryani here. So my pan is ready now. So we're going to put some oil. So here I'm going to use some sunflower oil. So I'm going to use about 4 tablespoons of oil for the oil to heat up and we'll start adding our garam masala here I've taken some brinji leaves and some cinnamon stick two star anise and some cloves and some cardamom and some jeera and some fennel seeds and some black pepper so just add it yeah let it heat up so fry it nicely just leave this to infuse in the oil for a few minutes so once it's heat up and we'll start adding our onion and we'll start making it so all my old spices are infused in the oil friends as you can see now we'll add the onion because we are going to make uh, onion paste already so I'm just going to add a little bit of onion Just fry this for a few minutes until it becomes uh, translucent. Now we start adding our ginger garlic paste. We have already added the ginger garlic paste in the marination, so make sure that you know you don't put too much. So here I'm going to use about one. This ginger garlic paste is the one will give a nice uh, taste to the biryani friends, so don't skip it. So do add it. for us to add the chicken. The chicken is ready already so it's been marinating for 10 to 15 minutes now. Add your chicken. I'm just going to add like that. So the chicken has gone in. I'm just going to give it a mix. just leave this chicken to cook in this oil for a few minutes we'll just cover it and leave it for a few minutes and meantime we'll just prepare our onion uh, paste friends so it's become cold now so I'm just gonna paste it and I'll show you friends now friends our onion paste is ready now I'm just gonna add it in the curry there I'm sorry in the biryani so just make it a nice paste like this and just add it in there it smells aromatic it's very beautiful difference. So I'm just going to use a spoon and I'm going to add it. That will give a nice flavor for this biryani. The next thing is the green paste, which we have made it with the coriander, mint, and green chilies. So this is the one going to give the biryani green color. And if you have some methi leaves, you can add it. But I don't have it, so I'm just going to use this. 
So just add that as well. I just want to show you the color prints. Just show you close up here. You can see this, how beautiful it is. So that's a speciality of uh, Mysore Dum Biryani. So I'll just mix it and I'll show you friends. The main ingredient is the salt. So don't you ever put forget to put the salt. If you don't put the salt, it can't taste nice. So salt is very, very important. So now I'm going to add about two tablespoons, two teaspoons of salt. And then later on, if we need it, we can put it later. Give it a good mix. And we'll leave this chicken to cook for 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see, look at the color friends, how beautiful it is. So this is the secret of Dunne Biryani. Um, so I will leave this chicken to cook now. And I will show you in uh, 15 minutes friends. Now friends, we will just check the chicken here. It has been cooking for 10 minutes now. The aroma is so awesome friends. It is cooking so beautiful. Now we'll add the water according to the rice. Here I have taken about uh, 5 cups of rice. For 1 cup of rice you can use 1 and a half cups of water. Here already the gravy is there because of the onion paste and the um, mint and garlic paste. So I am going to add the water. It is uh, it's good if you add the hot water. It will be nice. So I am just going to put on the pillow. I'm just going to use the hot water here. Just give it a good mix now. I'm just going to taste it and see how it is. It's awesome, friends. It's not for the camera, it's really tasting nice. So let the water come to boil and we'll add our rice. And after adding the rice, I'm just going to leave it for 10 minutes in the high flame and then 15 minutes in the medium flame and the dum biryani will be ready. So now friends, the water is boiling now. The last thing what we're going to add is the lime. So by adding the lime, what will happen is the rice won't stick together. So I'm just going to squeeze one full lime here. And just give it a mix. I just taste, taste it already. The salt is perfect. So we'll add our rice now. So there you go, my rice is ready. So I'm just gonna add it. Now we'll just give it a good mix. As I said, we're gonna keep this for 10 minutes in the high flame and then 15 minutes in the medium flame, and I'll show you the beginning. Now, friends, it's a moment of truth, so we're gonna check our Donne Biryani. Look at this, friends, how beautiful it is cooked now. All the grains are separate here, and it looks awesome. We're just gonna check it. Wow! So beautifully it is cooked friends, all the chicken is cooked, it smells very delicious. So if you want to add some, um, finally a little bit of ghee you can add it but I am not going to add the ghee. So here I am just going to serve it in a plate and we are going to taste it and see how it is. are hot on the donut biryani it's ready to serve it looks absolutely amazing and I hope you enjoyed watching this video friends I can show you around now I'm just gonna call my son and gonna taste the food now friends here's my son is going to taste it and see how is the food hi how are you 
just gonna taste it and see how it is. So hot it is. <laughs> so hot. There you go. It's here. Oh, it's yummy and tasty. It's very delicious, friends. Absolutely stunning. If you put a little bit of ghee, it's going to be a crown for this uh, biryani. So do add the ghee, but I don't like to add the ghee. Thank you so much for watching my video, friends. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please give a thumbs up to my video. And if you like my channel, please subscribe my channel. It is free. And we'll uh, connect with this next video. See you. Bye-bye.